Motion is U.S. airports should use racial and religious profiling. And here to argue for the motion, Robert Baer, a former CIA agent making his way to the lectern. And uh, Bob Baer is uh, the CIA guy journalists love to interview because he really did it in the late 70s through the 80s into the 90s. He really was a spy in the Middle East and wore disguises and jumped out of airplanes. And then he wrote a terrific book about it, a little bit naughty because he told a lot of secrets. It was turned into the inspiration for a movie called Syriana. And, and Bob, apparently you inspired the George Clooney role. Did, yeah. did you see the resemblance all along? I was, I, I was starting to get thick around the middle, yes, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Baer. Um, thank you. You know, all these arguments are telling, but uh, I'm going to approach profiling from... Well, first, I'd like to say that uh, I have a daughter from Pakistan, and I have a lot of Pakistani visas. And she's from Faisalabad. Faisalabad. It's from a center of terror. Uh, a lot of terrorists have come there, and I would fit that profile as well. Um, and I'll say it now, I, I don't mind being stopped, and I have been stopped. But we have to, you have to look at this, what, what I, I think is a mistake is if we let this devolve, this argument into Islam against the West or the United States against the West. Let me take an example, it may seem a bit facetious, but it's a very real one. Uh, the Secret Service has a source inside the Aryan Brotherhood a, the source says there's going to be an attempt on a black American president. It's going to take place inside Washington, D.C., and that's all the details I have. Maybe it's going to be a rocket. Maybe it's going to be a surface-to-air missile that can hit a helicopter. The D.C. police are informed, the FBI, Homeland Security, and all we know at this point is probably going to take place in a week. What does the Secret Service do if it's directing this and the FBI? They do triage. They are going to be looking for white males with tattoos, short haircuts, um, frequenting certain places of a certain economic stature. Those people are going to be profiled. So I, I, I think it's important to get away from this is, a, this is a crusade against Islam because that's not what it is. L let's, take the, uh, let's take the Israelis. Um, whatever side you come down on that, they have a certain experience in the Middle East. Call it profiling, call it what you will. Uh, I was in Lebanon in the 80s, and their assumption when they invaded in 1982 is they were going to have a problem with Palestinian Muslims. Uh, by 1987, the problem was not with Palestinian Muslims, it was with Christian women. The first suicide bombers were Christians and women. Their profile went from religion to a fairly light uh, Maronite and Orthodox Christians. The whole idea of profiling has to do with triage. If you're TSA uh, or the FBI or the CIA, you have a limited amount of time and you have to understand the background and the religion of people. Let's take Iran today. Everybody calls it a terrorist state. But give me one example when an Iranian has committed suicide either on a plane or in a car bomb or anywhere else. They just don't do it. You look, at, look at the history going back to 1980. Yes, they did on the front, but they were never involved in terrorism. If I am the TSA supervisor and you have a plane, a threat, and you can only check a certain amount of people, I would, I would write off the Iranians, first of all. Within Islam, there is profiling in Saudi Arabia. They can pinpoint the cities, the villages, and the school of Islam that is likely to commit suicide bombings. 